So how do we get these kind of shapes that I'm doing when I when I show my videos? So um, I'm literally morphing the mesh and it's a very simple thing called layers. It's pose morphs in Cinema 4D, it's blend shapes in Maya and other programs and Blender. Um, and if you want to, you know, test out your character before you ever commit it to, you know, to go any further forward, then it's good to test some of the parts of the body moving and that's how I use it. If you want to use it in other programs, you can, but that's for another video. Okay, so let's just quickly show how we can do something on a complex character like this. So we want to be able to say, for example, I want to be able to just close one eye with a pose morph or, or as on a layer as we call it here. So what you could do is you could go add a layer and that means now it's recording and you basically go to move and um, bring the brush to a reasonable sort of size and just bring the eyelid down like so. Now that will work, but look how what it's doing here. It's messing with that bottom eyelid. So we have to go into masking, obviously, which is you know it's something we've used you know many many times before. So basically, take mask and tap it, and it's on. Paint the mask underneath the eye. Looks like he's got makeup on under the eye, and now you can bring that eye down, like so. Whoops. Then turn the mask off and now you can bring the eye down carefully. So again, bigger brush if needed and bring it down like so. And it doesn't affect that lower end and that's how we get a blink. It's, it's seconds worth of work. That's why I always do it on, on these kind of models. It doesn't take any amount of time. Now, when you're doing morphs like this, what you might want to do is think about the rest of the head. So it might be that the eye now gets covered with the eyebrow coming down as well. So mask back on cover the eyelid a little bit that's too much actually um cover it a little bit like this like so and then you can use move and then bring the eyelid down as well and this will give you one eye um closed and then the eyelid getting covered by the eyebrow and if you want and you get really complex you can just bring a bit of it down here don't go moving anything else if you can help it then hold down mask and strike up and it'll clear the mask and then your layer now we'll give you the one blink like so. And I use this a lot. Now, if you want to use this in other programs, what you can do is get a much better geometry than this. So you'd have to retopologize this model first and then do all of your blends on that and save out each iteration. That's how I do it for Cinema 4D. Um, and it pretty much will be the same for Blender and, and Maya. Uh, you would just save out iterations of the low poly model. But these for me are much more about experimenting they're they're about getting a character to work and doing morphs just to test how it how it looks with lighting and things like that so is it is it going to work from different angles you can see it looks so different when you light it differently like this so i'll bring that around here and we'll bring it a bit further around and then we'll test that blink as well again. Well, a wink, isn't it? It's just one eye closing down. And if you notice there, it looks like it goes over too much. That's because I wasn't looking at it from many angles. So you could obviously work on that and improve that. But that's pretty much how you do that, that kind of layering. And you know, and you can compound them together so you can get you can get quite a few of them working. Um and you can even do it with what I noticed very early on a couple of years ago is you can move them like a puppet. Um so you can actually get your um you know, face dynamically moving uh, if needed. I love this. It's a great system. It's in almost every 3D program. It's in ZBrush, Maya, Blender, Cinema, all of the one, Modo. It's in all of them. Um, so worth having a go if you didn't know about it. I've done this video quite a few times in the past, but I just thought it was a good time to share it again. I really hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up because it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content and if you like us enough to give us a thumbs up then subscribe down below and help us build the channel thank you so much for watching have a great week everyone